Today on the Little Dum Dum Club, the second of our live episodes from Brisbane with guests Nick Cody, Daniel Sloss and Becky Lucas. But first we have some stuff we have to tell you about. If you're listening to this and you're thinking, boy howdy, listen to all those people in that room having fun, enjoying all those visual references that make (laughs) next to no sense on the audio recording of this podcast. I wish I could be involved in some way. Bear with it. Bear with this week's episode. (laughs) Is it a bit like that? There's a a bit of that. I haven't listened back yet but i suspect that it's going to be a very tough afternoon in the edit suite for me right. or maybe i should just leave it all as is who knows i don't know what people prefer mm. i mean i kind of feel like i should do the people listening a favor and cut out big chunks of the visual stuff but you know to be quite blunt fuck them <laughs> they didn't fly to brisbane and come along yeah. why should i take more time out of my schedule to help their lives for not doing the right thing it, you know what Kids out there, use your imagination. Oh like, yes, there's a, there's a little bit in there. Like we can't, we try our very best to sort of explain everything and uh, uh, talk about what's going on visually in the room. But um, yeah, sometimes it gets away from us a little bit. So bear with us. Uh, it was a very, very, very fun show. Well, what if I do this? What if I don't edit any of the visual stuff out, and then people listening can message us? And let us know what they think was going on. Mm, no, I just edited it. <laughs> <laughs> easy for you to say. Yes, <laughs> you very don't have easy. to get out the old. You don't have to get the two reels side by side and get out the old scissors and the sticky tape. Doing a bit of splicing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And of course, we should mention that this week the Little Dum Dum Club is brought to you by friend of the show Anne Edmonds. Oh, she's doing a live comedy festival show. Uh... <laughs> Not a pre-recorded one. Yeah. That's the thing. A lot of these things you read in the guide, they're actually well, actually there are a couple of shows like that this. Year. Old Daniel Kitson's come out here to just show a movie. You know what? Yeah, like if you go to the cinema, they're all pre-recorded shows. That's not bad, they're yeah. Not, they're not live. I reckon next year my show might be me just showing video of me and my parents in Fiji when I was 12. Really? What about that? Just an hour of highlights of our trip. What yeah. are you going to call it? Um, me and my parents in Fiji. Nah, give us something. <laughs> give us something good. Come on. Um, oh, well, what would you call it? Well, you, uh, you're, you're good at this sort of stuff. Um, world's best and greatest Fiji holiday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, Anne Edmonds in her new show, No Offence, None Taken. It is on at the Victoria Hotel, 7 p.m. She's one of the favourites of Little Dum Dum Club, uh, of ours and of the listeners. You mm. guys love her. Everyone's all... Whenever we put a shout-out saying, oh, what should we do? This? It's like, Edo, oh, we love Edo. So, we barely you know. need to do this ad because I'm sure people already had tickets anyway. People, yeah. The people love Edo. And you and I both through uh, running comedy gigs throughout the year over the last few months, we've seen Edo popping into trial stuff and her new stuff is, in my opinion, as my mother used to say, bellissimo. <laughs> as she used to say? Does yeah. that mean your mum's dead or yeah. she has just stopped using the word bellissimo? She's not Italian anymore. Oh, right. She married my she dad. Had, she, had the, <laughs> she had the snip. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, Edo, go check that out. 7 p.m., so it's nice and early in the night. So if you're – hey, that's good if you're planning to see a bunch of shows in the night. Start off with Edo. It's it's good if you want to see both me and you because yeah, you can I, go and see Edo first and then see us. Yeah, absolutely. She's uh, – no, she's – you know what? I'm loath to use this term because I don't – I don't like it, and I also think it's used. Good. Used. <laughs> I also think it's used wrongly a lot of times uh-huh. with, with wrong examples. But she's got funny bones. Okay. Whenever I hear someone say, "Oh, they got funny bones," I'm like, "Nah, they're no good." But yeah. Edo, Edo's funny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Great. Well, yeah. Go check her out. Tickets and all that stuff. Comedy.com.au. It starts on the 29th of March. No, the 30th of March, I should say, and runs for the month of April at the Victoria Hotel, 7 p.m. Tickets and all that info. Comedy.com.au. Comedy. Um, so we have, this is it. This is the last episode. If you're listening to this when it comes out. Last episode ever. Ever. Yeah. (laughs) Wow. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) What are you, what are you moving on to, Tommy? Uh, well, once we refund all the tickets that we've sold for Comedy Festival, because we're (laughs) never doing a show again. uh, No, let's not say any of that stuff. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Uh, no, this is it before our month of shows during April, the podcast every Sunday afternoon at the European Beer Cafe, 3 p.m. That's, uh. Uh, April the 2nd, April the 9th, April the 16th, and April the 23rd. That is four live podcasts, three guests each, all secret special guests as, as usual. We've got some absolute bonzers mm. lined up already. Uh, plus, uh, so that's every Sunday. Plus, we've got the the, the roast of Dirk Dry Singer, mm-hmm. which is officially sold Well, out. I can't wait to – oh, what? I was about to say I, I can't wait to buy a ticket to that. Oh, well, A, you don't need to. You're on it. Oh, good yeah, point. Yeah. What's, well, there barely needs to be a B, but well, what is it? 
B, uh, movie. B, fuck, what? It, yeah, B, C point A. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, there's probably not not a B. You're right. Okay. Um, but, but if there was, let's say I didn't listen to the show. Yeah. I mean, I mean, let's say I didn't co-host the show. Yes. And I'm listening to this, going, well, I can't wait to come along. Yes. Uh, what would you What would you have to say to me? Suck shit. <laughs> you you fucked it. <laughs> And that's, you know, look, you know what, me saying that it's sold out, it's like that thing where you, you hang up a dead rabbit on a signpost by the side of the road in the country as a warning to the other rabbits. Like, mm-hmm. that's a warning to get tickets for all the other shows. Mm-hmm. That's what How that is. How many times in your life have you done that? Do you Never. have to do that pretty regularly in no, Maribara? No? no. No, I'm scared of dead things. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah, you've got a real fear of dead animals. Really? Yeah. It's pretty full on when you see a bit of roadkill on yeah, the side of the street. We I saw a lot it. of it on the way up to Canberra last year. Yeah, I hate it. Really? Yeah, I find it. I always find it very unusual when I recoil. When, when I, I see, start fucking one. <laughs> when I recoil um, because you go, wow, I wasn't scared of it when it was alive when it could have actually done some damage to me. But yeah. now that it's incapable of anything, I'm like, ooh. Yeah, it's a, I guess it's a, uh, a chilling reminder of your own mortality. Mm. We're all just foxes running along the highway. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I'm scared. So please don't bring any dead animals to the live shows. <laughs> oh, well, now you know what's going <laughs> to fucking happen. It's going to be corpses galore. <laughs> Rabbits, <laughs> dogs, cats. Oh, I'd like to think, you know, I know some of our listeners are fucked in the head, but don't bring your dead dog there's along. A, there's a listener... Sitting there listening to this right now, just in a little shed, surrounded, just animals hanging off the ceiling. <laughs> Actually, and this has come up and he's like, finally! Yeah. Wearing the skin of a dog yes, already. Yes, he's looking at his season pass ticket and he's gone, great, yeah. the perfect thing for me to attend. The new Silence of the Lambs guy, where <laughs> in, instead he's down in the pit, instead of wearing a human skin, he's wearing a cat skin. Yeah, Buffalo Dill. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have to be a big suit. Covered in chicken skin. <laughs> <laughs> but not for long. Uh, so, yeah, that is sold out. The roast of Dilruk Jai Singha. We sold it out. We sold out the small room downstairs at the European. Then we got moved into the uh, main room, the big room at the European. Yep. Some people are selling out their shows in little clubs at the comedy festival and being moved into the main room of the town hall. Yep. We're selling out shows in a room in a pub and being moved into a slightly bigger room in a pub. Yeah, which still, is good. Still good. Yeah, we're still selling out. Yeah, that's fine by mm. me. Um, yeah, so that is the, uh, what's that, Friday, the, the Good Friday. Good, good Friday, Friday, April the 14th. It's our own little Good Friday appeal mm-hmm. in a way, <laughs> giving to people much less fortunate with less fortunate body issues, I guess, rather yeah. than just, you know, sickness or anything like that. Yeah. I guess, you know, Dill's... Still's <laughs> go. got stuff wrong with him. Yes. <laughs> uh, give, save it. Give, save it. <laughs> give, give so he may not grow anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's going to be great. Uh, yeah, to anyone who got a ticket to that, consider yourself and of, lucky. And of course, uh, on the last day, uh, in the last, the fourth live episode uh, at night, we are doing the drunk cast. Mm. At 11 o'clock. Now in its fifth year? Oh, maybe. Yeah. This might be the fifth. Um, so if you've got – I think the official the rule the, the official rule that we've got at the moment is the people who've got season passes get the priority. Mm-hmm. They're in the first class seats. Mm-hmm. And then everyone else, fucking good luck. Yeah. You know, line and I up. have seen – I've seen a couple of people on a certain email thread that I'm very familiar with these yes. days – uh, commenting, saying that they are flying down from interstate for the last weekend. Um, you know, they're wondering, does that get? You know, they're 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 worried. They really want to come, and it's 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 just it's too difficult to work out any other kind of conditions. It has to be season pass first, yep. uh, regular tickets after. So all we can say is get there early. Park yourself at the venue. If there's no line yet, you know, you have a bit of time to go get a beer, get something to eat. But, yeah, we wish we could make it easy for you guys. We really appreciate people coming in from interstate and everything. But if there was any way of doing it, we would. But it is just – it's it's way too difficult. I think we'll have to figure out something different next year, I reckon. Yeah. I mean, we'll have to – I don't know. We'll have to just maybe just start charging for it or something. Stop doing it. Yeah. (laughs) Stop doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> so on top of that, and of course on top of all of that, we are doing our, our new solo shows for 2017. Mm-hmm. Tommy Daslow in Dinner for Two, Carl mm-hmm. Chandler in World's Best Comedian in the World. It was funny that the word that you almost forgot was the word comedian. Yeah. <laughs> now what am I doing up there again? <laughs> Chef? It, uh, is, it is a tough question some nights. Unicycling? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of juggling. <laughs> 
Uh, There's certainly a bit of rodeo work going on. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. In the in the old dickhead circus. Mm-hmm. Um, so we are doing. Uh, what's our dates? It's like April two, and yep. then April nine till twenty three. Yes. That's so it. every Sunday after the podcast, and then the last two weeks. Uh, right Fl- through. Flat out. Yeah. Monday through to Sunday. Yeah. Wednesdays. Uh, oh, I'm looking forward to those Wednesdays. Let, you know what? Let's. I don't know if you whether we should be talking about this out loud or figuring it out after the show, but <laughs> let's, let's do find a, out. Let's do a Westgate Wednesdays deal. Yeah, okay. Because Wednesday is notoriously the hardest day to uh, sell tickets. Uh, yeah, well, that's we'll say that because my ticket – I think most people's tickets uh, after Tight Ass Tuesday, Wednesday is the second next cheapest night. Right. So if you're someone who – yeah, it's it's an option for you to go out midweek, or you you know you work a flexible schedule, and you're thinking what night's best to come. For the love of God, come on a Wednesday. Yeah, you'd be doing make a night of it on a Wednesday. You'll be doing a lot of comedians a big favour. Yeah, um, so get along to that to Westgate Wednesday, um, because if you don't come, that's that's what it's named at. We'll be off to the Westgate. Mm. So, yep. um, so that'll be lots of fun. I've I of course am doing my third run of. Uh, the Heckle Show, which mm. means all new material, but a different friend of the show, basically, every night coming in to uh, um, throw shit at me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and sometimes multiple, multiple hecklers as well. I've got a few multiple nights coming up. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. If you've been before, um, you know what you're in store for. All new jokes, but um, different heckles. Uh, heaps of fun. Some people have been multiple times in the same year because you're going to get a different show. So it's going to be very loose. And, of course, um, a lot of you guys have already bought tickets to our show straight after the live podcast because you can just stay in the same building and go yep. straight to them. So that's certainly a big option for you guys, but much appreciated if you come during the week as well. Yeah, do it. Um, so then we have the Kosamui International Podcast Festival coming up after uh, April in May, the end of May, May 31 till June 5 at the Ozo Chuang Samui Resort. If you book online using the password podcast, you get a sweet, sweet, sweet discount on that. And you've got to go to the official website. Yes. They're, they're, don't go to any middleman. Yeah. Um, go to the official website because they're the ones. Don't go the... to Expedia and try and type in podcast. They'll exactly. just tell you to get fucked. Exactly. Um, so do that. Use the password. Plenty, Getting plenty of feedback of people that have already booked in and gone, I can't believe we're getting such a cheap deal in such a great resort and have upsold and gone into big you know, lovely sweets. So uh, a lot of love coming back from us that way. We are getting – man, those those live shows we're going to be doing over there, they're, I'm getting to be worried. They're going to be pretty fucking big. Yeah. So there's a lot of people going booked in already. So thanks to all the people around the world that are coming. Uh, very exciting. It was going to be exciting to meet all you guys from overseas, to yeah, be honest. It's going to definitely. Be fun. Big time. Um, so, and, of course, you can support that. We've got the GoFundMe page. Uh, we are still scrounging all the shekels together to make it work. We're flying over guests. We're, uh, we're hopefully flying over someone. Uh, we're putting money towards someone filming it. Yep. Uh, we need all sorts of funds for that sort of stuff. So you guys have chucked in heaps already, so thank you very, very much. But the GoFundMe you... page, you can find the link to that at our website, littledumdumclub.com. Exactly. If you want and to kick co- in. Of course, if there's uh, – uh, once you do that, there are rewards. We're going to be making – filming and recording a lot of bonus content. So all of that will be going your way if you chuck in 10 bucks or above. That mm-hmm. would be uh, awesome. You are putting in to help us out, so we want to help you out and give you heaps of fun bullshit. Yeah, great. And also another way you can support it if you're coming or if you're not coming is we've got merch on sale for the uh, Kosamui Podcast Festival designed by me. We have a singlet and we have a T-shirt, both of which look great and which we are – by the way, if you've ordered – we should have said this when we put it on sale. It's a pre-order at this point. Yep. We are very close to getting them back uh, from the printers. So everyone who's ordered so far, thank you for your patience, but they should be going out pretty soon, right? Yeah, pretty much nearly right on when this comes out. Okay, great. Yep. Perfect. So uh, look for that in your mailbox very soon because there's heaps of you who have ordered. Like uh, we're already starting to look at it going, fuck, should we print some more? But um, so heaps and heaps of you, of you guys have ordered, uh, which, you know, apart from supporting the, the, the first Kosamui International Podcast Festival, they're just, it's just sweet, a sweet product. They look uh, good, yeah. The singlet, the singlet with the, uh, the, the beer-esque logo that says Dum Dum mm-hmm. and then the, uh, the lovely illustration by yourself of, of an elephant with me and you riding it. Uh, That's not meant to be me and you. Oh, who's that? It's meant to be Sonny and Cher. Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck, the amount of times <laughs> I've mistaken. <laughs> me being mistaken for Sonny Bono. Well, 
Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of that, isn't there? <laughs> Is there? I don't get a let lot me, of sure. But... Let me let me look this guy up. Yeah, oh, you look him up. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. Fill fill the gap while okay. I look this up. Well, I get a lot of um, mistaken for sure because a lot of times I'm on a battleship mm -hmm. with rubbing a big cannon on my vagina as I'm wearing fishnet stockings. So uh, there's, a, there's a lot of that. Every time I do that, people walk past and go, where's Sonny? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's not really sure. Okay, so you you think I look like that? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair enough. You the moustache is kind of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, you know, he was a... Uh, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all you need. Great. Um, so, yeah, get on that merchandise. That's on our website, littledumdumclub.com. Uh, thank you to everyone who's bought one so far. We also have to say thank you to the people who are supporting us on Patreon. You can subscribe, patreon.com slash littledumdumclub to help uh, keep this show going. We really appreciate it. You get sweet rewards. $10 or more each month, you get an extra bonus episode of this show. Uh, $5 or more, you get a sweet magazine where we write articles and do drawings and guests send us stuff and it always ends up looking really, really great. And for $2 or more, you get your name read out at the start of the program. You get thanked. Um, so here we go. Let's do five. Quote, unquote, thanked. Yeah. Uh, thank you to Daniel Town. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought that was going to be uh, comedian Daniel Towns. No. I thought that was going to be him chipping I, in. I at no stage thought he'd be chipping in. Well, yeah. I mean, we had him on episode like 19 or something, mm. and I thought maybe this was him trying to get himself back on the show. No. But even if he was kicking in, well, no chance. Yeah, he should be <laughs> trying to give us money for the performance he put on in this, that, that episode. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to... The festival is like a week away from starting. We're about to have to see Daniel most nights of the month. Now, I wonder if this will get back to him in some capacity. Oh, of course it will. <laughs> All these little snitches out there listen to this podcast. Nah. Someone gets brought up and they can't, they fucking can't wait to oh, get yeah. their grubby little fingers onto Twitter or Facebook and go, nah, listen, to yeah. they were talking about you. Listen to who oh, was bagging you out on I'm the show. Fucking some little, some little, little cunts out there have fucking <laughs> bagged me, have, have handed me up to people, have dobbed me into people really before. yeah totally right who i do know one big one you've been dobbed into right yeah there's been a couple there's a been... certain a certain boyfriend yes uh, who exactly. you don't go on as don't go on with the it clown if he got hit by a car don't go on with it <laughs> what who crusty the clown yeah that was you said you said, Is that what like I said crusty the clown if he got hit by a car i did not say that did the i the phrase well maybe they were separate thoughts but oh, there's right. a crusty the clown reference and then there was wow being hit by a car is <laughs> That's so naughty of me. <laughs> You're a bad little boy. <laughs> I'm with whoever snitched you out on that one. Oh, fuck. Um, Daniel Town. Daniel well, Town. Thanks for going to town <laughs> on our little bank account. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> thanks, Danny. Uh, thank, oh, now, here's second up. Here's someone, there's been a few of these lately where, you know, sometimes when, you know, we, we usually read out five names and the fifth name can sometimes be a bit weird. Mm. Uh, it just happens. Not to, always, but sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes it just happens to be once, once in a rare while. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like maybe once a week. Yes. Um, so sometimes they can be a little bit unusual, and some people have been maybe inspired by that or something. I don't know because some, well, a few copycat crimes out there. You yeah, think? Yes, a little okay. bit like that. Right. So is this like? So is this? You know, it's like in a copycat crime. It's like. In the movies, it's always like some guy thinks he's this big shot killer, yep. but there's one element that's like not as good. Like he hasn't killed them in as creative a fashion. You're right. And, and, it, you and can... that's how the cops know immediately. It's yeah. like this big hallmark isn't there, so good on him. He's having a crack. Exactly. But he, can, he will never be the Zodiac. Exactly. Is that what this is? That's exactly because I've already solved it because they, they said their name, but then I read their email address and it's not the same. <laughs> so... Thank you to here we go. Thank you to Rip Torn. <laughs> brackets, brackets. Don't read out the email address. No, Rip Torn. Brackets. Anus. <laughs> so first of all, you thought it was Rip Torn from the Larry Sanders show and a yeah. lot of shows, but then it's just a little bit of a joke referring to my torn anus. Hey, let me ask you this: Do you think Rip Torn is alive or dead? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I think. He's alive. Okay. Because we got into a fight on this, about this, on my other podcast, Filthy Casuals. We were talking about Rip Torn one day. I could have sworn that he was dead. Yeah. I have a vivid memory of reading a headline article about him being deceased and we – and not true. Alive. 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 I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I was I, – I just – I felt like – 
the end of Fight Club. My everything I thought was true. Have you have you seen that theory that people have the, on the? Freddie got fingered. Yes. Yes. <laughs> end of request. Um, <laughs> no. Have you seen the uh, 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 conspiracy theory that people have that? That we've gone off into an alternate universe. We've mm. gone into an alternate reality because there's a few the examples like that. The Berenstein Bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. sort of thing. Where yeah. it's like, like literally, people have based their idea that they're in a different mm. universe now because they think something was spelled wrong. Yeah. Like, no, I swear that back in the seventies it was spelt like this, and now it's not. So this must be a different universe. I mean, no, you can't spell because you're a fucking idiot. But that's what I have. I, I, I. I remember, I remember a whole day of reading obituaries about Rip Torn, and I tell you what, I'm not going to be happy until he finally dies. <laughs> Only you, then will I have true peace. There's been a rip and a tear in in the universe, and mm. you've slid through into a different part. Oh yeah, yeah. that's just the the one thing you know. The, the one alternate reality is that Rip Torn is alive in this universe. Oh, I just got why he's called himself Rip Torn Anus. That's about you. Yeah, I just said that. No, I know, but I. I don't know. I just thought that was him just putting in the word anus to be funny. No, no. I, I, I got so distracted by the Rip Torn element. Right, right. Yeah, yeah Rip Torn anus. It's a, great it's actor. A, the great Rip Torn. I know. What's he done lately? Oh, he's 86. I just looked up. So I mean, coming from a man who thought he was dead yeah. a month ago. <laughs> yeah. What's he done lately? Oh, I just decompose, apparently. <laughs> Um, no, he's he was great in Larry Sanders and mm. uh, what else? A few other things. Freddie got fingered. Freddie got fingered. Yeah, he's great he was. Freddie got fingered. He was good. That is a great movie. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's really good. It's funny to me that it, now this is this is great learning a bit about your tastes. Hate the Austin Powers franchise. Yes. Fan of Freddie got fingered. Totally. It's a very underrated movie. Oh, I hate Austin Powers, but Freddie got fingered was like I was crying laughing first time I watched that. I feel like when that came out, I honestly felt like the only I, I'm the only person in the world who likes this. Yeah. Well, I was the same when uh, with Billy Madison when oh, it really? first came out. Did people it, hate it? No, well, no. It just no one knew about it when it first came oh, okay. out. It didn't go to cinemas in Australia. Right. I saw a clip of it on Letterman one night and went, "This looks amazing." <laughs> and then when it came to uh, Wattle Video in mm-hmm. Narrabah, oh, nice. There was like one copy down way down in the bottom corner, and mm-hmm. I got it, and like no one had heard of it, and. Uh, in Maryborough, and it just you know grew as a cult thing as, as time let, went by. Let me just quickly ask you this: Does Maryborough still have a video store? I do not believe so. Because I was staying in a near a small little town up in the hills for last week or week, and uh, th- that struck me walking down the street. Sign of the times: no video store. Yeah, there would have been a time five years ago when a big old video easy would have been the the bustling epicenter of that yeah. main street, and yep. now. Nothing. You know what I love is that uh, it's like – this is a really weird – I don't know what, what this sort of means, but in Chapel Street there was a blockbuster mm. and it closed down mm. because of, you know, how things have worked out. Mm-hmm. Replace by Dimmick's Bookseller. Yes, I know the one you're talking about. Books. Yes. It's like it's like a it's like they whacked in like a you know a huge bit of technology, mm. knocked down all the trees and whatever, and all of a sudden the trees grew back over. Yes, yes. <laughs> Nature but books is, are back. Yeah. I, th- I reckon books are back. Well, actually, no, the stores aren't back. I feel like everyone was getting ready to go to Kindle and iPad, yeah, yeah. and then people have realised nothing beats the feel of a book. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they're back, but I think it's more that buying them online, they're like back, book, your book yeah. depositories and your Amazons. They're back as much as they're ever going to be. But I think they, there's still a need for them because you're always, like got gifts, like going and buying someone at the last minute, an yeah. auntie or whatever, a book, going into a bookstore last minute, finding something in there, you can't beat it. And That's also, their sole market these days. Also, yeah, who wants to sit on the beach and read a Kindle? Or yeah. sit on the plane and read one. Oh, <laughs> the beach and the plane—the two sandiest environments you can be yeah, in. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get sunburn on the plane. Um, thanks, Rip. <laughs> um, or your alternate name, Holly Smith. Ah, yeah. Smitho. Hmm. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad she went with Rip Torn Anus. Yeah. Well, maybe Anus was her maiden name. I don't know. <laughs> um, thank you to Daniel Yavdoshin. Yevdoshin. Yevdoshin. Yeah. Uh, There's an obvious joke there. Putting some <laughs> Yav, some of that dosh into our account. Yes. Was that very the obvious good. joke? It's, uh, he's putting the dosh out of his name and into our pockets. Nice. Thank you very much, Daniel Yevdoshin. Although this is what I find interesting, is that his name is Daniel Yevdoshin, and then when you check his email account, he spelt Yevdoshin in there differently. Ooh. So he's either... You can't spell his own name. It's so 
Such a weird name. But what is it? Does it look like there's a deliberate? Is he is he taking out some of the vowels no. or something? Yeah, he spelled his name Y A V D O S H C H I N, and in his that's in in his email account, he hasn't got the C in there. Mm. It's Doshin instead of Dosh Chin. That's great. Oh, I'd love to know the story behind that. Mm, I bet you there's a very interesting one. Couldn't get. <laughs> Couldn't get, you know, didn't want to go Yavdoshin 67. Right. So just went, well, fuck it. If I take a letter out, yeah. I'll, yeah. Be the, I'll be the only one. I'm sure there's a lot of people after <laughs> Daniel Yevdoshin at fucking whatever it is. Yahoo.co.uk. <laughs> yeah. Dot NZ. Well, thanks, Daniel. Thanks, Yavo. Thanks for the dosh. Uh, speaking of complicated last names, thank you to Ken Brown. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Both names there. Speaking of rip-torn anus. Yes. <laughs> well, it sure is a pleasure to be taken down to Brown Town by this, <laughs> by this upstanding gentleman. Thanks to Mr. Brown for giving us some sweet green. Oh, nice. Mm. Nice. Um, thanks, Now, Kim. how does he spell his last name in the email address? Uh, B-R-O-W-N-E-Y-E. So, yeah. What? <laughs> S-H-I-T-T-E-R. <laughs> at oddmail.com. <laughs> Don't give away his full email account. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, thanks, Kenny. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks so much for, um, again, I'm sure you've copped that, copped a lot of that in mm. your school years. Thanks the for old... taking a big old squat over our Patreon <laughs> and just loosening your bowels right into it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for, thanks for doing a poo, just in general, made of money. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do one more. That's... Um, because that's, that's like my old teacher. I, had a, I, had a, I think I've said this before. I had a teacher. What? When they shit money came out. I had a teacher that had a <laughs> – I'm sure I've said this before. I had a teacher that wrote a book, and which was, you know, when you're in primary school, it's like, oh, our teacher wrote a book. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, that's in the shops. Mm. And um, he wrote a book called The Money Eaters. <laughs> and um, he used to encourage kids – to go into the bookshop when there Great. was a bookshop in Melbourne, yeah. of which there's none anymore. No video library, no bookshop. Right. Um, but it, yeah, but for the like for books, they just people just don't read in Melbourne, so they got rid of the bookshop. Yeah, but, great. So <laughs> yeah, they got rid of the bookshop in 1989. Yeah, yeah, exactly in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, he used to encourage kids to do the wrong thing and go into the bookshop and just go pre-order my book. You don't have to buy it. Just pre-order it so it gets in the shops. So they, and they sort right. of have to buy it. Sort That's of thing. great. Yeah, in like telling kids in grade three to do that. There must be. You just made me realise. Like there must be because now people can like self-publish eBooks and stuff. So there must be a big spike in teachers being able to go. I've written a book, kids. Yeah. I've got a novel out there. Amazon digital. You can get it on your Kindle for thirty bucks. But I'm, I feel like I've told this story before on the podcast because it leads up to this, which uh, there was this crazy guy that I went to school with. That I just, it just made me laugh so much. He, mm. he walked into class one day, you know, with the, the teacher was like, he was the substitute teacher. I have heard this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he just walks in and as soon as the teacher says anything to him, he just goes, yum, 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 money eater, yum. <laughs> <laughs> and just pretends to eat money. What's he doing now? Uh, I, it's, that's, a, that's a good question. Investment banker? He, he once got locked up. I think he went to the nut house at some <laughs> point. But, then, but now I think he's, uh, he's in Queensland, which is probably the right place for him. <laughs> the other nut house. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we love our Brisbane fans. Thanks yes. for coming to, the, to, to this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do one more. One, oh, okay, we've got time for one more. One All, more. Right. All right, one more. One more. Uh, thank you to Patreon subscriber. Pretty loopy week already. I can't wait to see <laughs> what what that what our last what our last name is. Why? Why? What no, no. Name? Sorry, just go ahead. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you to um, uh, listener Patreon subscriber Tim Got. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Tim Got. Yes. What? Tim. Thanks to Tim Got. Tim Got. Yeah. Hmm. Thanks, thanks, Tim, for for putting some uh, some money into our account hmm. for subscribing, for supporting the show that you listen to. Obviously, I'm trying to think to uh, you know we 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 really appreciate the money oh, that goes I know that towards you know the upkeep of the equipment. We've been doing like the <laughs> website that hosts it. And, we've been uh, doing a lot of um. What? Like the last couple of weeks we've kind of read it out in a different way, mm -hmm. which has been – I've enjoyed the kind of the – it's where we pretend that we're teachers. Right. And we're reading out the role. Yep. Yeah. Like I've kind of like enjoyed – money eater. Yeah, like eater money. Right. Oh, yeah, so yeah, So like, right, right. you know, where right. – like 
it's been fun to sort of pretend, have a bit of a kind of a fantasy element to the podcast. Right, right. So should we maybe, do you want to maybe do what that? A, what a fantasy element, you, pretending <laughs> we're teachers. <laughs> Has there ever been a role? Has there ever been role playing like that? When instead of dressing up as like a schoolgirl, you're dressing up as a teacher. Yeah. So your partner, they they're still them. Yeah. But you're just a te- in the relationship. Yeah. But you're, you're a teacher. You're just out the backyard banging dusters against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Coming um, in covered in chalk, going drop your pants, baby. Yeah, it's fun to us as ro- to role play as a profession that a lot of comedians get into after they quit comedy. Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Tim got thanks do you to wanna, Tim got. Do, but do you want to try doing it that way? Oh, okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna have to. Okay, I'm gonna have to gear my brain the other way now. All right, because uh, we've had so far, we've had Eddie Com, yep, Fing Re, <laughs> and yes. now Tim got. Right, right. Okay, well, I can try that one. Uh, thank you to ah oh, right. Okay, thank you to got Tim. Oh, oh. I get it now. <laughs> Very good stuff. <laughs> Absolutely worth the run up. Yep, very good. Um, you know what? I play. Uh, I'm still addicted to Championship Manager, the 1992 mm-hmm. version, where I'm managing four clubs at once uh, on a purely text-based management yes. program. Yes. Um, I, <laughs> I just all of my managers. I've got four different teams in there, and they're all called. Tim got or got Tim. Oh, really? So it's very confusing. I, don't, I just I don't know why I didn't name them something differently, but they're all called either Tim got, got Tim, Timothy got, or... Well, it's funny you say that because I'm playing The Legend of Zelda at the moment where you can find horses in the wild and then you can take them to a stable and register them as yours and you get to give the horses a name when you register them. And I have a stable full of horses called Comedy and Riffing and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, We're not so different, you and I. <laughs> um, okay, so the live podcasts every Sunday starting this weekend, our solo shows, uh, World's Best Comedian in the World and Dinner for Two, my show featuring a whole bunch of new stories and jokes and drawings that I've been working really hard on and your dickhead idiot circus, uh, the GoFundMe for the Costa Mui International Podcast Festival, the T-shirts for the Costa Mui International Podcast Festival, the Patreon, all of this stuff you can find at your one-stop stop online portal www no http colon slash slash www dot little dum dum club dot com yes great i've i've marked that down um it's a great website it's got every any questions you have and of course you know um go to the social medias we, we're on we are on instagram we're on facebook we're on twitter we've got all get get a part of all that we a lot of you guys chuck in some sweet content and we retweet it and comment mm-hmm. and all that sort of stuff so you guys are always very imaginative and we appreciate the the content that you send us um but i think that is all the plugging we d- need yeah. to do this week oh you know what we never say this but get on uh iTunes and give us a rating if you if yeah. you fancy it, like a, a review. It's always nice that the very occasional times we check the iTunes charts and we're we're usually up there. But yeah. the more the more comments, the way iTunes works is, I think if the more ratings and the more comments we get, we to the sort of higher we get. Yeah. So it's nice to see us up there in the in the top twenty. We're doing it. Might 30, help someone it? else find the show if they're looking and they they yeah. put any kind of stock in reviews. Um, yeah. So go do that and enjoy this episode live from Brisbane with Nick Cody. Daniel Sloss, Becky Lucas, and a cameo appearance by a certain eccentric Serbian billionaire. To the Little Dum Dum Club for another week. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Tommy Dasselow. Standing next to me is the other half of the program, Carl Chandler. G'day, dickheads. <laughs> Don't say the thing. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are back for more Dansu. Uh, it's going to be great. We didn't get around to the Dansu in the last episode, but this time we are here. Um, yeah, hey, so if you're listening at home, this is the back-to-back episode. This is part two from last week. We've all just had a bit of a break. Uh, uh, some people that have been only tight enough to buy one ticket have fucked off. Uh, <laughs> new people have come in. Who's the newies? Oh, fuck, you guys are really up for it. Um, <laughs> really, really into it. Why didn't you, how, how, come, how come you only come for this one? Why didn't you come for the first one? Sold out. Sold out. <laughs> If only you'd been in charge of the tickets or something. 
Fair enough. Well, welcome in. Flog them for fucking stupid amounts of money. There's somebody in. All right, shut the fuck up. (laughs) Now, what accent is that? (laughs) Where are you from? Ah. Yeah, what he said. Dave Cowan style. Nice. (laughs) Now he's a big fan of Dansu. (laughs) Mick Dansu. I, yeah, so this is awesome. So you guys are awesome that come along. Uh, the people that listen uh, uh, contribute in different ways. I just got a text literally from uh, Dave Hughes who said, I was just in the ocean uh, in, in Queensland and someone swam up to me and went, hey, good, good appearance on the Little Dum Dum Club last week. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking awesome. I like Swimming up to him, Poseidon himself, yeah. <laughs> appearing to say, hey, big fan. Yeah, no, just jaw style. Dernan, dernan. <laughs> hey, dumb cunt, good work. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, the beach, the Thailand, uh, the Koh Samui Podcast Festival uh, that we are organising that is happening soon. Now, people have been buying tickets, people have been buying their flights, uh, booking their accommodation to come along with us. That's awesome. Someone emailed uh, during the week to let us know that they're coming. A, uh, a, someone that we know is a listener of the show. Hey, mates, uh, just wanted to uh, check the dates and everything. I really want to be sure that I get the dates right because the Koh Samui Podcast Festival will contain my last drink ever before I go to rehab in Thailand. <laughs> Wow, I, that's awesome that Fiona's coming. <laughs> <laughs> we got, you know what, because we've got um, shirts for sale out the front um, of this gig. It's a live gig in Brisbane. Uh, so we sell a bit of the, uh, we've got all the different shirts. We've got the, uh, the burger shirt. Mm-hmm. We've got the aware of the little Dunham Club shirt. Uh, we've got the new shirts coming up, the new Thailand shirts, mm-hmm. which is yeah. me and you riding the elephant. And yep. then the bin tank, I mean the... <laughs> the dum dum Tim, Tim Tang. Yeah, the very original idea of dum dum singlets. Yep, yes. Yep. Um, so we sold out of our uh, Got Tim shirts, mm. right? So I found uh, we had two left. We had two five XLs left, uh, and, and oh, oh, oh. that is a funny number. Um, <laughs> So I found them, and I found out that I'd reserved them for, for someone who had, had bought, had ordered two 5XL shirts, and they'd never sort of confirmed, like they'd paid for it, but they hadn't given me the proper address, and I've been emailing them for, for a fair while going, you've got to tell me where to mail this stuff. You wouldn't want to seem desperate to make a sale or anything. No, no, he's paid already. <laughs> oh, right, okay. I'm yeah, trying yeah. to do the right thing and give him the shirts. Yeah. So it's been going on for like a year, <laughs> and he still hasn't given me the address. I think he did. <laughs> Because, you know, the clues are, it's 5XL, well... And that's potentially not even, it's like, he's ordered two. Yeah, he might be stitching them together. Exactly, to make a 10XL. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. So, if you're listening, if you ordered live... If you ordered two 5XLs at home, please, if you're... Look, if you're still alive, hit me up. If you're not alive, give me a signal. (laughs) <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So give, give me a single if you're dead, not if I wish you were dead. Yeah. If that guy's, yeah, if he's listening in the afterlife, maybe appear to us in a vision while we're asleep or something, just yeah. to let us know what happened. And if, and if you are in heaven, have you been on the fucking exercise box? Because... <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. Hey, actually, speaking of uh, money coming in and the Thailand, the Koh Samui Podcast Festival, yes. we need to talk about this. So, big development during the week. We've got our GoFundMe up uh, where people can uh, chip in to help us get guests over there and to support the whole thing. And we're going to make extra content over there that you will get. Now, someone well, well, during should, the week. Should we, should we start at this bit or should we start at the, the, the point before? Oh, no, you, you go. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, this is a convoluted story because, you know. We, we it's have, getting more convoluted by the second. Well, we have some weird listeners, of which some of you are some of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, okay. We got a, we got a Patreon uh, donation during yeah. the week. Yeah, yeah no, GoFundMe donation. Okay, GoFundMe, yeah. yeah. For someone chipped in, some absolute madman chipped in, $1,000. Take a fucking good hard look at yourself, you scum rats. Yeah. Now, this... Look, that's nice of you to clap, but I don't know if you should. This, now, this guy 
This guy's been hitting me up on the... So I run the... You run the email account. I run the Twitter account. Mm-hmm. Clank. So, yeah, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I got some shit going on. Uh, so he's been... Mess- What's your email password, by the way? My email password or yeah. my Twitter password? Give out your email password. What? I don't want to do to that. To these people, I think that'd be cool. <laughs> How about I give out your phone number? Ah! C- c- keep, keep the story going. <laughs> so... Uh, this guy's been hit, hitting me up on uh, Twitter going, oh, I want to sponsor the show. I want to I make a big donation, sponsor the show. I'm like, cool, you can do that. Um, and then he's like, cool, so just do it. And I'm like, yeah, you need to tell me what, what you, you know, who you are and what we're supposed to read out on the show. He's like, yeah, yeah cool, so do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you need to tell me what the product is and then we can advertise it. He's like, yeah, yeah cool, so I'll give you the money. So start now. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how to say it again. <laughs> I don't know how to say it again, but you need to tell me what's going on. And so then he sends me a link. <laughs> of his, he's like, this is the sponsor, this YouTube channel that I've made. And so I click on the link. There's three fucking garbage clips. <laughs> One of them, he's just remixed a U2, a U2 clip, a U2 uh, song, and he's gone, there you go. I'm like, we're not being sponsored by a fucking U2 song. <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing? He's yeah, like, it's, he's, the channel is like these remixes he's made of popular songs. Each of the... There's like four or five videos. They each have about 80 views. And the, the clip art on all of them is a picture of Paris Hilton. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I guess this is what he wants. We're just describing the channel. Yeah. This is all it is. Hit it up. It's great. <laughs> it's Go, our new YouTube, sponsor. Yeah. Hello. YouTube.com slash Guru1. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Money well spent. I, I, think, I think we've done our job. <laughs> so, so th- and look, to put you in the mindset of this guy, man, I fucking, I, I'm sort of, we're sort of scared that he's coming to Koh Samui because he's, he's been said, th- here's the last five messages he sent me with no response from me. Fuck you, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Clean out your ears. I said, fuck you, Tommy. <laughs> fuck Tommy with Carl's dong. <laughs> fuck Carl with Tommy's dong. Equality. Our new, our new sponsor, everyone. <laughs> Do you think you'll like this or be unhappy with what we've <laughs> read out? He's, I sort of think he's fucking crazy. Yeah. I mean, apart from the fact he gave us $1,000, yeah. everything else. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that, yeah, what an indictment when giving a podcast a thousand dollars is the most sane thing that you've done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. But uh, on top of that, he was also saying to me, um, so hurry up and book in Scott Orkerman and Paul F. Tompkins to come to the Coast of Movie Podcast Festival. And I went, well, that's absolutely not happening. <laughs> and he's like, no, yes, it is. I'm like, it's fucking not. And then he goes, Ask them how much it'll take. And I said, this is how much it'll take. It's not fucking happening. <laughs> He's like, have you asked them yet? I'm like, I'm not fucking asking those guys. He's like, and then it started with fuck Tommy with Carl's dong. So <laughs> anyway, I gave up. I haven't responded to any of those threatening dong related threats. <laughs> and then, so when I've given up, he just does that. And then he goes, oh, well, he's given up. He's a thousand bucks. So it, guys, yeah, look, we're, we're, we're happy to take a thousand dollars if you want to insult us. You guys usually do that for free, but we're happy to get the thousand dollars. Sorry if you guys are kind of bored by this, but we sort of have to just relay this. We're yeah. under obligation. He paid a thousand fucking dollars. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what he wants. Is this what he wants? He paid us more than our new sponsors, Young Henry. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, quickly we'll get into them in a sec, but I do want to check in uh, something I was talking about a couple of weeks ago on the show. Uh, the now for anyone here who subscribes on Patreon, uh, we send out a bonus episode each month over email. Now. I've fucked it. I've absolutely fucked it. I've, um, I've accidentally uh, put everyone's email address in the CC section instead of the BCC section. I mean, I'm so vague sometimes. Um, so I read out a bit of the thread last week's episode. Wouldn't you know it? It's still going to this day. The thread continues on. So all of a sudden... All right. All of a sudden... <laughs> Uh, the other day, um, uh, Joshua Barnes chips in and goes, because this is what will happen, it'll, it'll kind of, it'll be very active for a day and then it'll go silent for like two days and then someone will go, so what's everyone up to? And then it's, <laughs> and then it's off again and people are notified, no, people are writing in to go, oh, I just worked out how to block people on my work email account. Bye, cunts. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's our new version of Facebook. Yeah. 
So uh, Joshua Barnes uh, kicked off the thread recently by saying, so who's still waiting for a mention on the podcast? I've been a paid up Patreon subscriber since day one and still waiting. Uh, and then Damien Perkins said, I've gotten two. Sucks to be you. <laughs> And then Nathan went, well, Josh, I'll give you a preview. Josh Barnes. More like, Josh is a dumb cunt, Barnes. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Not bad. Dave chipped in with, these are professional comedians we're talking about. They could at least come up with, Joshua Barnes. More like, Josh, you are a dumb cunt, Barnes. <laughs> Reed Parker said, lucky he wasn't joshing about giving us some sweet coin. Uh, this stuff writes that's itself. Up there, that's up there with the great Tommy Dasselow. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm helping drag out this der- deranged chat room. And then Josh himself has come in with, I was expecting some sort of Jimmy Barnes reference. A working class dumb cunt. <laughs> Such what, content what pe- for the show people, here. What do people think of us? <laughs> Chris Young said, I thought Sadie would be a more likely reference from Carl. It'd remind him of his 20s. <laughs> Uh, Dom Fell said, I assume you sell a guide to being a dumb cunt at your bookstore, Barnes & Noble. <laughs> this is all pretty good. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then, finally, after a day, someone went, don't you fucking idiots have better things to do? So, yeah, that's where the thread currently stands. Oh, so, okay. I think we need to say, thanks, Josh. Yeah. Thanks, Very Gmail. <laughs> Very good. Um... <laughs> There. <laughs> well, I was you trying sounded to... like a robot. Well, <laughs> very good anecdote. Moving I, on. I was trying to figure out why you didn't get out on the laugh, and then you told the bit at the end where it's like that's nothing, and I was like, what the fuck do you do that for? <laughs> so I was like, I, I, but I, I didn't want to neg you. I thought <laughs> you so want to I... neg me? Are you trying to fuck me now? <laughs> I said I didn't want to neg you. So I said very good, thinking that that was a very good thing to say, and that just drew drew more attention. <laughs> Well, look, we got ourselves out of the bog, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we should talk a bit more about young Henrys uh, who have been chipping into the show. Oh, do we want to do this now or with guests? Oh, I don't know. Oh, why don't we do this bit? <laughs> why don't we do the bit there? <laughs> Fuck, this is good. This is so good. Well, d- we sh- really should have had that band meeting before. Mm. Um, we've got... What about that clip? Why don't we play that clip that oh, we yeah, got that, Sorry, that's right. So, yeah, someone in the email thread the other day, uh, uh, someone has made a supercut, if you could get this ready, uh, of uh, every time we've said the word dumb cunt on this show. Someone made this so and put it on after YouTube. That, after the last five minutes, they've got some more homework to do. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, give it a... Can we get that a play now? If you're listening to this now, you're a dumb cunt. Thank you. We might be dumb dumbs, but you're a dumb dumb cunt. <laughs> Hi, dumb cunt. G'day, dumb cunt. Hey, dumb cunt. Hey, you mate. He's in Magic Mike, you fucking dumb cunt. <laughs> Brisbane. The dumb cunt. <laughs> you are you're... the dumb cunt's choice. No, you dumb cunt. See you, dumb cunt. How did I get this? By not fucking mentioning you dumb cunts in my exams. <laughs> What a dumb cunt. I'm being genuine. I'm not trying to be a dumb cunt. You're still a dumb cunt. Though. The text looking at me like, that'll do, right? Like, yeah, let's, let's, let, so this clip, this clip goes for seven and a half minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we have sent it to Triple M to try and get a job. So. How good's this show now? We did our live shows and just us playing recordings of previous shows. <laughs> we should have left stage and just let it play. <laughs> Play right. the whole seven minutes ten times. All right, let's get a guest on. Okay, uh, please, do you want to intro this guy? He'd have some stuff to say about this particular oh, guest. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Please, uh, so our first guest, you may know him from being a king in the air. <laughs> but a dumb cunt on the ground. <laughs> please welcome Nick Cody! Yeah! Beers are good, aren't they, guys? How good are beers? Young Henry's. Mm. Oh, the best beer Delicious. going around. Please. I thought it was a trap when you go, go into that dark room out there, there's ten slabs of Young Henry's. I felt like it's a cop trying to set up someone for a sting operation. <laughs> yeah, especially go in that dark room with Young Henry. <laughs> 
multiple young Henrys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to say, before I sit down here, I know I am a king in the air, cunt on the ground, but uh, obviously my virgin velocity status, platinum, means nothing in a podcast. <laughs> I can bring three of you into the lounge later if you want, if you're at the airport. We'll have toasted ham sandwiches, it's a good time. But here's the thing, I've accrued a lot of podcast points over the years, a lot of podcast status credits. I was the first guest on. I think I've been... Uh, the guest that's appeared on this show the most amount of times, even with Dil Rook, he counts as two appearances per episode. <laughs> Much like a plane, two seats for one man. Uh, and I've decided to uh, uh, cash in my podcast points. I'm not sitting in one of these Povo Economy podcast chairs. Oh, what's this? What do you got? And I'll sit closer to the front like you guys never get to. And uh... Oh, it's just so nice. It's a comfy leather chair. Is it that good? Yeah, there are extra perks as well. Uh, I get the fanciest drinks. Like, I like young Henry's, but... For people at home, I'm the fanciest podcast boy. Who would have thought that the episode with Frank Woodley on it would be the least visual one we did today? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cody, please, yeah. first class, let us take yeah. care. I do love a business class. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for travelling with Dum Dum Air today, Mr. Cody. Thank you. For, for, pe for people at home, Milan, he, Cody's, Cody's... Don't even bother. Don't even bother trying to explain it. Cody, Cody's flying Milan Air, and uh, he has just been given a big... I don't know, what, pineapple drink? What with is fucking that? With cream on it? Yeah, at Milan Airways, when the pilot says, we'll get there in 45 minutes, everybody chants, prove it, prove it, prove it. Now you've got, now, because, yeah, it's got whipped cream on the top and you've got some of it in the beard, in your beard. It kind of looks like you've visited the cockpit, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Every dick pun makes more fake jizz come off my drink. Cody... Cody, for the people at home, is currently... Oh, it's clearly I'm fancy. All right? it, it, I'm a fancy it, it, man. It looks... I enjoy fancy things. Because you've got whipped cream all over your jeans now. Well... You've got whipped cream on your jeans, but you're drinking from a pineapple. It looks, it looks like your sperm now tastes... <laughs> your sperm tastes really good, but it's all over yourself. Sorry, is somebody from Economy talking? I don't even... <laughs> What movies you got up there? <laughs> yeah, sorry, we're from Economy. You look really fancy at the yeah, moment. I'm a man about town, man about the sky. See, <laughs> <laughs> so you plebs don't understand. This is how it's meant to be drank. <laughs> you know how we were... People are being covered in whipped cream in the front row. You know how we were saying we need to do the dum-dum dining experience? I think this is it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, can we do a quick visual? There's, there's a young lady that's, that's done a, that's done a <laughs> bit of... That's, yeah, that's, We've got a doctor in! Yeah, she's done a bit of dum-dum oh, no. dress-up. Jump up, jump up on the stage. Is there a doctor on she's, board, Milan Air? She's come in as Dr Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> doctor, Dr Ramsey. Well, oh, okay. Oh, Jesus! Sure. Yeah. It's like the Oscars all over again. <laughs> Now this, now this is podcasting. <laughs> Although she does look like... Has someone hired a stripper? <laughs> what? Because <laughs> you've got that big coat on, it just makes me, I don't know... Stop! Just stop! What? Stop! Oi, Inspector Gadget, get your tits out. <laughs> Anyone in a big coat. That's a Chandler Mead stripper. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's snowing, yeah. you animal. All oh, sudden, yeah. All of a sudden, I look like the dodgy guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. That's great. We have people... We have you look like you've already had a lap dance. <laughs> 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 I 
Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> this is yeah. great. This is great. We've got someone cosplaying this show. Yeah. That's amazing. That's great. And That's... the guy sitting next to you to your left is clearly he's come as me in five years. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> A ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do comedy. <laughs> oh, God. It's really hard for me to zing people like this. <laughs> Great, I like being I like being I like being high up like this too. This is a great way of this is a great way of interviewing people. If you could call this an interview. <laughs> what are you actually drinking? What is that? Man, I don't know. We Milan picked something. Does it yeah, is this a thing that exists? Like yeah. that you can order off a menu or is it is did Milan go put some shit in a pineapple and then put whipped cream on it? Yeah. Yeah. Milan bought this from home. I think. <laughs> <laughs> this is his breakfast smoothie. <laughs> Oh, so and by the way, so, on a health kick. Yeah. <laughs> so that, yeah. the crazy guy who is now the sponsor of the, the show that we talked about. Milan, yeah. No, not Milan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other one. <laughs> yeah, the, the other crazy person. Um, he because he dropped in that, that grand, that has now officially made you the, the official second guest of the Coast of Millie podcast. Oh, yeah. Big lineup yeah. announcement. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I've got it under control, man. No need. <laughs> Yeah, Audience I'm, I'm members are now along. cleaning up coding with a, for him. With a loose unit. Oh, yeah, yeah you, you, you're bringing along someone else, a plus yeah, one. Yeah, I got married recently, so obviously I'm bringing my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's coming. The Jeff loose Cody. unit. Yeah. Joffa. Great. I drank that. There wasn't much liquid in there. <laughs> it's more presentation, wasn't it? Um, so you are it's bringing. Hard to, it's hard to know where to go from here, isn't it? Yeah. What happens now? You are you are bringing your dad. Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh. <laughs> it's happening again. Yeah. You got plenty of time. Yeah. Four four and a half hours until my show tonight. This will be good. Yeah. Well, I've got about an hour until my flight leaves. So. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be very interesting. Yeah, this does look gross without holding the drink. It's really yeah. <laughs> So get your phones out, guys. Get some photos of this. This is really good. How does right. Sam Simmons do dumb shit like this every day? <laughs> or or Dilrook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, second guest? Yeah, let's get our second guest out of here. Uh, folks, uh, we've got an international guest on this podcast. Please welcome in Ireland's very own Daniel Sloss. <laughs> Come to the drunk cast. It's the last day. <laughs> he always makes me sit in the back. <laughs> I'm not allowed to join up front. <laughs> um, yeah, you thanks. look so familiar. Um, <laughs> yeah, have you guys met? <laughs> you guys, you guys demanded to be on the same podcast together. No, we're yeah. just trying to make your fucking dumb podcast better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shots fired. <laughs> It's, uh, thank you for coming here so close to uh, your... To... The pineapple was... fell off the top. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now don't I look silly. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like cherries. Why don't I do that? <laughs> I've got a show to do later. Focus, Cody. No time you're, you're, cherry eating. By the way, you're in a show now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Sloss, we talked on this uh, about this on the show a couple of weeks ago. At Cody's wedding, you were wearing a kilt. Yep. And as is tradition no. uh, in Ireland, you weren't oh, wearing... I will fucking gut you. <laughs> <laughs> I will fucking invite your family around and gut you in front of them. <laughs> That's a warning. Thank you Why would you do th his th parents th a favour? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for coming, for still being here, despite it being, uh, you know, you still celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Um, <laughs> I, will, I will put a, through, a shoe through your... I find that it's gone. <laughs> Ooh, his face is getting all hot like a fucking boiled potato. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, no, you're right. It, it is, to be sure, to be sure. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
I love this new bit. This is great. Yeah. Uh, you were you were wearing a kilt, and I drunkenly in the middle of the night. You were I mean, standing... you say drunkenly. You took a dick pic for me. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Without was... my permission, I may add. Yeah, I was sitting down. You were standing, and I was like, I wonder if I just like put my phone on selfie camera and just slide it under there, put yeah. the flash on. What kind of shot I'll be able to get? Yeah, you'll see the Sloth Nest monster. Yes. <laughs> You've heard a lot about it, but it's not real. Yeah. <laughs> on fire. Remember those words. On fire. <laughs> so I talked about that on the show a few weeks ago when we were talking about Nick's wedding, and uh, I sort of said on the show, hey, if you want to see it, send us an email. I'm sure Sloss won't mind. I'll send it out. Now, a few people have actually followed up and messages asking to see it. I figured I should check with you first to see if you mind people seeing this photo. Do you mind? Of course. You, don't, you, you do mind or you yeah, don't mind? it's my dick. <laughs> no, okay, go ahead. They've all seen it. You, you don't mind? No. Okay, well, good, because I printed one out just for the... <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, at least I don't take pictures of Hey, me. at least it's not Dansu. <laughs> that that could be on a fucking post-it note and it'd still be bigger than all of yours, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dick oh on yeah, a I like how you note. think that's a rose. Look at your giant dick. Oh, got me. Well, that's funny because <laughs> I'm not even sponsoring the podcast, and you're giving me adverts. <laughs> I just love a dick pic on a post-it note, like reminder. I've got a cock. <laughs> Put that on the fridge. Don't forget later. <laughs> Well, someone, yeah, milk, eggs, my huge schlong. That's because uh, I was talking to someone the other bad, uh, day about the roast of Dilruk that we're doing and how uh, you, I believe you're participating in this, this live show that we're doing at the festival. And I was saying to someone that you were going to be there, and, uh, and this person I was talking to was like, oh, uh, like apparently, apparently, here's something you could get him on. Apparently, he's got a really big dick. <laughs> so maybe you could bring that up in the roast. Like, yeah, got him. Like. <laughs> Do you understand how this works? Yeah. Oh, Jay just has his penis is so big. Whenever he's naked and gets an erection, it's like Sideshow Bob standing on a rake. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> so I like how we've started with the, uh, uh, with the Irish jokes. Someone here in the crowd has just started texting me terms from Ireland to use. <laughs> so, hey, hey, Sloss. Blarney Stone. Hurling. Got him. <laughs> what else? The, no, Lost. that's it. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, who liked seeing that uh, photo before of Sloss's little leprechaun? Did you all enjoy that? Fuck it, a hey, little. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Don't drink it yet. Okay. It's, yes. Right. Wow, well, I never thought I'd hear those words come out of your mouth. <laughs> oh. uh, Oh, about time we've got some bloody cream on this. All right, Milan. Milan has just brought us drinks with whipped cream on them. Oh, well, that's made a mess, hasn't it? Let's all, for the rest of this episode, for the love of God, let's all keep one eye on the fact that this does have to be put up as an audio recording <laughs> and make some kind of sense to people at home. No, you have to just start out the podcast by saying, sucked in, cunts, you weren't there. And then... <laughs> I'm, I'm really not looking forward to our third guest, Marcel Marceau. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we bring our third guest out? Yeah. Yeah, let's get her out of here. Folks, please welcome into the little dumb number club, Becky Lucas! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Brisbane zone! Yeah. Brisbane zone. <laughs> Is this I don't think this microphone's on. Yeah, good. You on is this, this one? For real? Oh, it is on? Oh, you can hear me. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, guys. Of course, comes in, mic doesn't work, has a gimmick. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Women in comedy. <laughs> What's it like? Uh, it's fucking hard, man. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about it? Um, all, the, all the dick I get. <laughs> No, this is good. Hey, great English. <laughs> it's like you're fluent. It's so good. <laughs> there are very few groups of people you can say that to, and there's laughs. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, Sloss, because we've been uh, saying got him a lot, and uh, you were you were part of a lot of the podcast last year. Yeah. You were telling me about that last night. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect guest. Yeah. Yeah, Come on, uh, spin us a yarn, dip into that pot of gold of yours, and just tell us a good one. <laughs> yeah. Grab the lucky charms out of your pocket, rub them. You'll remember. <laughs> you Irish cunt. <laughs> so this business on. class drinks are full on. Hurry up, oh sloss, and tell us a story. Um, because nobody in the UK listens to this podcast, because why would they? <laughs> um, it's very, very, it's a very local material, this. Um, over in the UK, nobody listens to it except for me and one of my friends, and we're just because it's always in my fucking ears. I just say "got him" around, and, and then expect like a full response. <laughs> like you say "got him" here, everyone goes "yay." <laughs> you do it at a random party in Scotland, they're like, "Who's Tim?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's the bit," and they're like, "Oh." <laughs> It's great. It's great but, how you had to learn this. Like you didn't just. But also, why are you in Scotland when you're from Ireland? Uh, <laughs> it's a fair question. Uh, hey, he's allowed to travel. <laughs> Boy, you are copping yeah. it on this episode. You really should have brought your four-leaf clover with you. Yeah. He yeah. just ran from Dublin over the rainbow and got to Edinburgh. Uh, there was I have a more golden appearances than all of you combined. <laughs> Conan O'Brien, your friend. Oh, no. I set him up! Fuck! Oh, I'm so smart! And I just underarm threw a ball at him. Like a no, You're right, you're right. We are all green with envy. <laughs> so, um, Let's make tough on a Tommy for a bit. <laughs> If only, <laughs> if only we had something to work yeah, with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we do have, um, so we have mentioned, we do have a new, uh, uh, what, partnership? Not sponsor, but a partnership mm. with Young Henry's, mm. the uh, lovely beer maker. Um, and dog shit. Is it a, is it a partnership? <laughs> Isn't it a sponsorship? They give you stuff. You don't collaborate on anything, you and Young Henry's. I, well, it's just, it's a blossoming start of it. So, mate, oh. so hopefully we will. Oh, Hopefully, a little dum dum lager. Well, you know they're, gi- yeah. they're they're giving us a bit of it's it's got all the hallmarks of a sponsorship. Yeah. Except- Sri Lankan pale ale, <laughs> not so pale. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> See, I told you, there's only a certain amount of groups you can make jokes, <laughs> and you'll get laughs. Um, it's weird because it has all the hallmarks of a sponsorship, except for the fact that they specifically said to me in an email, "Please do not say that we are sponsoring you." <laughs> so. <laughs> oh. I don't know, it's like where it's like that, you know like, You're like their side piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm trying yeah, to exactly. talk you to a, yeah. I was trying to talk you're you to a You're just trying to drink the microphone and talk. Uh, yeah. And we don't let people like that up in podcast business class because <laughs> it, is, it is a bit of that thing where where they're sleeping with us but saying, Don't tell anyone that you, you know, you're my girlfriend or anything. It's it's a bit it's Like a bit what like you that. did for ten years. <laughs> What's he got him. What's got he him. <laughs> finally, finally, a long year Fine. of nothing. Oh, I, the luck of the Irish. <laughs> Our new game is: Where are you from? No, you're from this place. <laughs> <laughs> but we only do it for two places. Yeah, yeah. Sloss thinks he'd won, but he'd actually lost. Ah, Murphy's Law. The law of your people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we do have this new relationship with, uh, uh, with Young Henry's. Mm-hmm. Who cares? And, uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> Beggy with the good burn. Yeah, that's, that's some sweet impro. Right. Um, <laughs> The old no end. Um, so, so we we uh, they did say we don't want to officially be known as a sponsor, but we do. It is chaos in here at what? this point. What the what fuck the is going on? Somebody just nicked the rest of their little hip flask. 
Cody's a narc, everyone. He's yeah. a fucking narc. Yeah. Snitches. Yeah. Hey, remember, Rat. Cody, snitches get stitches, so I'll fuck you later. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a spotting of Nessie. <laughs> Guys, be quiet. I think we're trying to get on with the ad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what ad? Um, so we were what, what we we decided we were told <laughs> we were told we were told we're not the officials you know they're not official sponsor but we wanted to do a bit of something with them, yeah I mean you know you want to talk about them instead of just saying like hey you know we, we we're drinking it and you know there's a great long tradition of beer ads being very great especially in this country yeah. so we wanted to do something for them we wanted to kind of bring oh, no. bring young Henrys into the little dum dum fold. So we've put together, uh, we've put together a little something. Do we want to? You when your ready? mate's had fifteen young Henrys and he gets behind the wheel of a car. See ya, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So can we get this? Uh, can we get that music playing? You can get it saying, "Hey, mates." You can get it dialing 0438. You can get it being a disgusting fat fuck. You can get it easier than Fleety gets 20 bucks. <laughs> you can get it lying on the toilet floor of a gym. You can get it getting Tim. <laughs> you can get it with blood pouring out of your bum. You can get it out of the purse of your mum. <laughs> you can get it after a sweet riff. You can get it if, if you're sensitive. <laughs> You can get it as you're on the west gate and you jump off. You can get it if your name is Jack My Tiny Dick Off. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> you can get it if you're dill rockin' fat. You can get it... Wait, how'd you get that? <laughs> you, can, you can drink one during a rad dad. You can drink about ten during a Patreon ad. <laughs> you can get it avoiding making her Mrs Chandler. Or you can get it after defeating cancer. <laughs> you can get it flying to Samui. You can even get it if you love comedy! <laughs> you can get it enjoying your dinner for two. You can even get it if there's no dance <laughs> You can get it any old how. Matter of fact, I've, I've got, got him, him now. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, young Henry! <laughs> we did it. Also, by the way, do you have the VB ad up here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Becky, we were talking last night, so we were all out with Milan, and oh, yeah. it, it ended brutally. Yeah. You were saying that you uh, saw Milan powerless. Uh, oh yeah, I last saw year. Milan depressed once, um, and it was because someone had <laughs> prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it. <laughs> no, uh, have you ever seen him in the daylight? It's so rare. <laughs> it is. It is weird. It's fucking rare. Yeah. No, I saw him depressed once because someone had put a bar tab on. So he was rendered incapable yeah. of buying drinks. Yeah, he is. Like, it's a Westworld robot that's yeah. like trying to get yeah. past. Like, eat, 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 eat. He shuts and down. Go, he shuts like he was just like yeah. this. Like his arms are hanging beside him. It's his like, kryptonite like, is a bar tab. Yeah. Then they said the tab's off and Milan's like, yeah! yeah! <laughs> that fuck! Anyway. Well, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> It's not that great. I actually didn't get that fucked up last night. It was weird. You did or didn't? I didn't. Really? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going with that. <laughs> Thank you. We should... Well, Sorry? Three standard drinks on a night out always makes for fucking great tales. <laughs> <laughs> And I got a cab because it was easy. It was quarter to nine. Anyway, <laughs> I had three drinks. Yay. Um, Sloss, <laughs> all right. Let's go back to something you told me last night. Yeah. How do I lead into this? Sorry. That was like it's... the Muppets, like the Swedish chef of the Muppets <laughs> with like a debilitating disease. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how you sound. <laughs> Like a <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate this podcast. <laughs> you're um, because you're staying with Cody. You guys are like BFFs. Is that official? Yeah. 
Got the ankle tattoos to match it. Really? <laughs> no, don't can. Oh. <laughs> that was called a riff. <laughs> riffing, riffing. And Carl uh, puts the, the riff in terrified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Becky's still here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, I don't feel safe. <laughs> Be- Beck, because you... Uh, we've got oh, the- no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. Oh, all three. You. All three, pussy. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. I'm still not going to fuck you. <laughs> Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. <laughs> Guys, thanks for coming to our frat party, by the way. <laughs> Let the hazing begin. <laughs> but Becky, you, we did ask you to be part of the. We got the Dilruk Jaising and roast coming up. Oh yeah, a, I'm a too scared. I don't want to get made fun of. I can only dish it out. Exactly. <laughs> I find that very funny. You're like, I'll do it, but I only want to dish it out and then leave. Yeah, <laughs> of course. That's I've got, I've got two good ones for you already. I know. Oh. You're, <laughs> you didn't even know I was confirmed on the roast. No, I was just <laughs> on a whim. Just I'll just every say night. something mean about Becky. <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> All right, well, let's go back to Sloss, what he said last yeah. night. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you guys are BFS. Yeah. You and Cody are, are very good friends. And you were telling me a story about you guys getting very close. Oh, yeah. So last year after the drunk cast, I don't know if everyone was there by, I kissed Tom Ballard and you kissed Dilruk. Oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> you kissed... You kissed no, 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 no. That was... Dilruk was trying to eat Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Business. Dislocated his jaw. <laughs> <laughs> like a snake. Yeah. <laughs> he had one arm in. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, uh, we were absolutely fucking like, smashed after Milan had been buying drinks there. And there's just one point where it's just me and Cody out on the street. And we're just doing like that thing where men can't show affection to each other but want to. So just like shouting. But like near each other while smile like I love, I love it. you yeah shut up cunt oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we're doing this just talking about how much you know we like each other but without saying the words and then Luch uh, his fiance at the time comes out and just goes sometimes I worry that he loves you more than he loves me and I was like well Luch that's on you because you get to suck his dick <laughs> like. That's an advantage I don't have to make him like me. That's, that's so great. He, I like, love that you use the term advantage there. <laughs> no, I, I like that he said, oh, you get to do that. <laughs> I'm How'd forced that? to do it. <laughs> <laughs> got, got dick. <laughs> Sloss just peering in through the window while it's happening. There goes the luckiest woman in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know at his wedding, you know that bit in Love Actually where Kira Knightley uh, comes, like she wants no. to find out. Uh, <laughs> like... No. No. No, all right. You've ne- I have no idea what just happened. People You're saying, saying, do you know no. this bit? And people are answering your question. Oh, right, thank you. Yeah. Good. Jesus Christ, this po- fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know that bit where she goes in to find footage of her wedding right. and then she realises... No. <laughs> <laughs> now I get the bit. <laughs> <laughs> she, she does that bit where she, uh, he, he only films her at the wedding right. and then she sees that's exactly what I did with him at his wedding. <laughs> Anytime Luch walks into shot, I just pan the camera away. <laughs> and it's going to be my little wedding gift to them. So we're out in the street and we're just at that point and she says this and, and like we masculinity kicks in. Dumbass testosterone masculinity kicks in and we're like, we'd be gay for each other. I'd, I'd kiss you. And I'm like, well, I'm, like, I, well, I'm not scared. I'll do that. And so we both jokingly go to kiss. And here's how toxic masculinity works. Once we got here, whoever didn't kiss the other one was gay. <laughs> That's how dumb male logic is that we're like, well, I'm not going to move away. <laughs> He's like, I'll fuck you. I'll fuck. And then that's how we kissed for 20 seconds in front of his fiance. Hey. <laughs> 20 she, seconds? Yeah, after, oh, best of my it life. It felt like a uh, lot. Wow, we. This episode. 
episode has everything. So, so Becky, we're pretty good friends, yeah? <laughs> oh, no. I still don't follow you on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do some good work. I uh... am. <laughs> no, I saw. Oh, I, I saw your hundred jokes that you bailed out of. <laughs> How many did you get in? I thought you, uh, you got to at least eighty. Well, no, like twelve of them were jokes. <laughs> some of them were haikus. <laughs> like... Well, sorry if I don't appeal to your Irish sensibility. <laughs> Right. I, I, I try and do a hundred jokes on in a day. I got to like. I, Why not just write two good ones? <laughs> <laughs> well, where were you a month ago? <laughs> <laughs> on Conan. <laughs> oh yeah. What were you wearing? <laughs> Because you did have a great, uh, yeah, you had a good day of it because you, you subject yourself to this every year. And, yeah. it's, and, you know, we get a lot of harassment online at a base level. Yes. And you put out there every year that you're doing this. Hey, here I am doing a hundred jokes on Twitter. And then, it's, and then the floodgates open yeah. and the fucking rat cunts come out of the woodwork. Yeah. It's, it's hard. Those some but great you ones. Went, it's hard. fucking great jokes. Thank you. But it's I hard. tweeted a bunch. Did you? Yeah, heaps. Oh, thank you. Like five of them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's it hard. would have been perfect. You would have nailed it if you just had another comedian there with you to sort of work through the whole <laughs> day. It's, it's... I'm going to block you what, on Twitter as well. Somebody <laughs> groaned, somebody groaned thinking like, Cody's saying a lot of compliments. Yeah. <laughs> It is, it is interesting online because I do that and I go, you know what, it's, I, I've got a, such a fragile fucking brain when I'm trying to write a hundred jokes in a day. So I go, I say to everyone, please don't say, any, like this is the one day, don't say any insults to me because I'm trying to think of a hundred jokes. It fucking takes a lot and someone immediately goes, you're a dumb cunt. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> I have to fucking block everyone. And then, and then at the end of the day, all these dumb dumb listeners hit me up and going, oh, how come you, how can you block me? I'm like... You, I'm trying to work, and you literally said, kill yourself. Just, I mean, if there was only pay. way to write jokes without the internet, then <laughs> fuck, man. You, also, sort of, you have to put every thought out there. That's stop, how they work. Stop reading the fucking notifications. Yeah. Write your fucking jokes. Yeah. Why did you... If they, you know what they're saying. You're checking to Every time you do them, we're like, five minutes just for me time. Yeah. Oh, they're all insults. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I, I'm working on it. Anyway, it was, it was, it was. <laughs> I'm working on it. How many people did you block over the day? Oh, uh, double figures. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, but then they all come crawling back on the dumb dumb account, going, "Hey, Carl, if you're running this, can you please unblock me?" I'm like, "Fuck off! You're done forever. You don't deserve my sweet hundred jokes." Or well, seventy odd. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> it's almost like you've cultivated this kind of culture of being mean to each other and then you're surprised yeah. you're saying Weird. I can give it but I can't take it back yeah you're like we're one and the same that's fair. let's fuck <laughs> <laughs> I've made too many fuck jokes I don't know I'm sorry I'm, I'm more than this it's like Frankenstein spending all his time working on the monster and then it comes to life and he's like this isn't what I fucking wanted yeah. Yeah. what's going on here yeah that's fair <laughs> let's talk about Instagram now <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Just all the different apps. <laughs> Social media. Yeah, let's turn this into a tech conference. Why don't you guys read out some oh, more Oh, well, I know on the last step you were talking about the people that have been the face of certain products. Old mate Nick Cody last year Heard was of the him. face. For Heard a product that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Samsung Galaxy S7. <laughs> what? I, I was the face for Telstra for five ads, like, as me. Like comedian Nick Cody here talking about this thing, then they start blowing up in the air. <laughs> really? Like I do, eight champagnes in in business class. And uh... <laughs> were you... yeah, yeah, they recorded all the ads and then the phones were blowing up. So they're like, "Yeah, we're not going to show it." Oh, so they didn't show them? No. Fuck, really? Yeah. How the fuck do I not know that? Because it wasn't shown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah but, yeah, but you're you. You brag about eating toast. <laughs> yeah, because I fucking nail it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen how he eats it? Cross first. Very ironic. 
<laughs> you the... Guys, here's an ad I'm not on. It's a sweet brag. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sweet brag. You get paid and like no one ever sees yeah. it. That's incredible. Yeah. I oh, know it worked out well. What did you What did you say about it? Oh, they oh, it definitely like... doesn't blow up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. They give you they give you the copy like they're not going just say just talk from the heart Guys, about I know the product. Kids are getting too immersed with technology, but if there was any phone I would hand your newborn baby, it would be the Samsung <laughs> Galaxy <laughs> S7. <laughs> if you if you outside on a sunny day yeah. just hand it over <laughs> to if your you, newborn bub. <laughs> if you don't know how to rub sticks together, <laughs> Use the Samsung. <laughs> Are you going to have kids, Carl? <laughs> and, uh, it depends what you're doing later. <laughs> what a great, I what a great like... comeback. Someone burns you and your response is in so many words, I will fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> God, God. And stick around for like 20 years. That's like so nice. <laughs> so do you, do you think you'll have kids? Sure. Prove it. Prove it. <laughs> do it. What? Get someone pregnant right now. Do it. <laughs> Dr. Ramsey. <laughs> Let's play spin the lucky Henry's can. <laughs> who it lands on. Who gets now, enough now yeah. this sponsorship is paying off for them. <laughs> it's not a sponsorship, you see. It's a close relationship. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Like, we'll have... No. Um... <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> Man, you can do this sort of shit in Thailand in a couple months. Just chill out yeah. until then. <laughs> That'll be good. So it's you and, it's you and Dilrock. Yeah. So far. They're the confirmed guests. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good line-up. <laughs> No, they thought they'd make it something a bit yeah. different. <laughs> I'm interested in one quarter of the guests. Because <laughs> well, Delrick's fat. And... Oh, right. I thought that meant, because there's two people, you're only interested in one, yeah, the bottom so, half of yeah. Cody. Cody's no, I cock mean, and anus. Like Delrick's three out of four. Right. But also, I'll suck his dick, yeah. Right. I get it. How is the 5.30? It's 5.30. How is this the loosest show? That's the best thing and about... Then, oh, no, no, my show. solo show starts in an hour. That's going to be a oh, fucking fuck look show. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're not Mike, coming, are you? Mike um, Wanda's oh, nice. ride in 45 minutes is going to be fairly loose as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> what airline are you flying home? Milan Air. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know five seconds ago when I said Qantas? That one. Oh. Oh, I wasn't listening. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh, burns. I zoned you out. <laughs> you, you blocked me on real life. <laughs> uh, hey, we better wrap this episode up. What do you say? Oh, okay. This is this is this is chaos at this point. <laughs> this is this is it. There's Creamy no regaining control. Fucking of this. reek, by the way. Creamy drinks. Yeah. He thought I said Queensland. <laughs> I said creamy drinks, Queensland. <laughs> Near enough's good enough. <laughs> 4X gold with cream on top. Queenslander! Queenslander! Wally Lewis's favourite drink. Can of cream and a 4X gold. That is, that is liquid dance <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got to wrap this up. Folks, give a big round of applause. Becky Lucas, Daniel Sloss, and Nick Coney. Thank you so much, guys, for coming out. Thank you for yeah. listening at home, and we'll see you next time. See you.